All right, we're back. And it's a humdinger in a good way. As always, copy paste the commands from right below this video as we proceed. It's time to CLI. That's rocket speak for a command line interface. Hello all, JT here. An important note about this step is that we are going to be installing Rocket Pool in Docker mode. There are two other modes, but our goal is to keep things simple around here. The Smart Node will install its own Docker, so if you have another version of Docker installed, you'll need to remove it. If you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, you probably don't have it installed. If you haven't done so already, log into your node. And now let's check for Docker by typing in snap list and hit enter. We can see here it is not installed. If you do see it in the list, Docker needs to be removed with these two steps. First, to stop the Docker surface, you type sudo systemctl stop. And then the rest of the command you can just copy from below. And then press enter. In this case, we see it's not loaded. Duh, we don't have it. If you have it and you see that it stops successfully, use the following command to remove it completely. And that command you can copy below is sudo snap remove hyphen hyphen purge docker. Hit enter and it will be removed. Whew, all right. Now that the Docker mini boss is out of the way, it's time to actually install the Rocket Pool CLI. This command line interface software is a multi-purpose Swiss Army knife for rocket pool staking. And we'll be using it extensively going forward. We're going to put the CLI software into a directory, so let's create that folder by typing in the following. mkdir p tilde or home slash bin and then hit enter. Fun fact. A tilde in Linux is kind of like saying home, referring to your home directory. So now we just made a folder called bin, nifty. And then now we need to make sure we download the right version of the smart node software that matches the computer architecture of our node that we're running. Whether it's on Intel or Mac or AMD, check your architecture by typing in the following, uname hyphen M, and hit enter. There are two versions of the CLI, X64 and ARM64. The value returned by the uname M command will tell you which version you need according to the information you see on your screen. We have the expected result if you own an Intel NUC, which we recommend from our guides. And for those users, it would return this, X86 underscore 64. Now that we know what version we need, copy that URL out of the guide here below this video. Now paste the command with the URL from your clipboard. Then hit enter to begin the download process. Now what we need to do is we need to change the permissions of the CLI software that was just downloaded in that process. Type in chmod plus x home slash bin slash rocket pool. Make sure to copy that below and then hit enter. This just made the rocket pool CLI software executable. And now what we need to do, we need to log out and log back in in order to finalize this step of operations. Type log out, then press enter. Now go ahead and log in with SSH again to start fresh for the next step. Great. Now you have the Rocket Pool CLI installed and are ready to install the Smart Node stack in the next lesson. On behalf of Rocket School, my name is JT.